and welcome to the tip of the day. I'm Dr. Amy Starr with the Mesa Veterinary Clinic, Paws and Hooves Mole Veterinary Services, and San Francisco Stables. And we're helping El Paso help their pets. So today I want to talk about benign prostatic hypertrophy in dogs. And basically what this means is that the prostate has become enlarged um, in male dogs, however, is not cancerous, it is benign. This will happen in almost all older dogs that are intact, so that are not neutered. So almost all unneutered do male dogs um, will get an enlarged prostate as they age. Um, many of those dogs, so a good majority of those dogs, will also have problems because of that. So the very first thing to do, uh, if this is an issue, is to neuter the pet. By neutering, in many of the cases, if it truly is benign, we can um, reduce the size of the prostate and eliminate a lot of the problems. The problems that you might see with enlarged prostate are blood in the semen, blood in the urine, straining to urinate, straining to defecate, um, blood on the tip of the penis or the prepuce, and low fertility. If you notice any of those problems, those are severe, you need to have them looked at immediately. And again, one of the number one or the number one um, treatment of choice is to neuter. We also need to check for other problems though. Make sure it's not cancerous, make sure there's no abscesses or cysts within the prostate. And so there's several different tests that need to be done. There's not one test that's definitive, meaning that it gives us the exact answer. So we have to do several tests together. Obviously, first of all, we need a urinalysis and routine blood work to make sure that there's no infections or anything else going on. We don't have an infection in the urine, etc. The second thing is ultrasound of the prostate itself to look for abnormalities such as abscesses and cysts. The third is to get cytology, meaning we take a sample of cells and send them off to a pathologist in a lab who tells us if there's any cancerous cells or not. By doing that, um, we can either, or to do that, we can either insert a needle into the prostate and take a sample that way, or we can do uh, manual manipulation to get a sample. This doesn't tell us um, about infectious abscesses though, so sometimes there's a culture needed. In addition, uh, there is a blood test that's a biomarker that can give us an idea, again, it's not definitive, but it can give us an idea about whether the enlarged prostate is cancerous or benign. So basically, we need all of those tests to give you a definitive answer, so an exact answer. And like I said, the very um, number one most important thing whenever this is, get them in, get them checked out, get a full physical exam, including a digital palpation, um, meaning we actually feel the prostate, and get them neutered if it's enlarged. In most cases, that will fix the problem. If you have any questions, let us know. We'd love to hear your comments and other topics that you'd like to hear about. Have a great day, bye-bye.